This video is the first one on the channel by Guilherme. He's a Goto tutor, a game developer, a young engineer, and he's really serious about providing very good quality. You can see that to the source code, the demo that he made for this tutorial. We're starting with a simple tutorial about how to work with different screen sizes in Godot. Please welcome him. Hello, everyone. I know that my voice sounds a little bit different, and that is because I'm not actually Nathan. My name is Guilherme. You can also call me Guy if that's easier, and you can expect to see me here on different videos on the channel. In this one, we are going to learn how to prepare our game and configure it to work with different screen resolutions and how that can affect your gameplay if you don't do it correctly. If I play this game, you notice that we have a really small screen. It's 640 by 480, which gives us an aspect rate of 4 by 3. And the main purpose of the game is to try to avoid these green goblins by using the buttons on the screen. Right now, if I try to click on the maximize button here, you notice that everything is going to go to the top left of our game screen and our buttons will keep the, the same places that they were before. But everything looks weird, we don't have the same that we had before. We can also see where the enemies are spawning, so the player is seeing more than he actually needs to see and more than we actually want him to see. And that is because we never told the engine how to deal with screen or different screen resolutions. And to do that, we have to go to the project settings, go to the bottom until you find the display and select the window. And here on the bottom, you'll see that on the stretch, the mode is disabled and we can select 2D or viewport here. If we select 2D, the game when we resize it is going to be rendered on a different resolution. But if we select viewport, the resolution is basically going to be the same, but it's just going to be bigger. Imagine this as if you had a really small picture and you started to zoom into it. That's basically the same effect. For now, I'm going to select 2D and keep the aspect as ignore. And I'm going to play the game and maximize it so you can see what this gives us. Now, as you can see, because I'm playing this game on a 16x9 monitor, a uh, widescreen monitor, everything is wider. And that is because we are ignoring the aspect of our game. And also, I want you to pay attention here to the buttons. You can see that we don't have anything pixelated. But if I go back to the settings and instead of using 2D, I decide to use viewport, we're going to get the effect that I told you before, which was zooming into a small picture. If I maximize the game again, everything is pixelated. So this is basically the difference that we have from 2D to viewport. And that's up to you to decide which one works best for your game. Now, if I decide to keep the aspect radio of our game, so if I decide to keep this 4x3 aspect radio, I'm also going to change the mode to 2D again. The engine is going to keep the 4x3 aspect radio doesn't matter in which resolution or which aspect radio we are playing our game in and it's going to add black borders to the top and bottom or to left and right depending on the size of the monitor and the size of the screen of the game is being played at right now if instead of using keep i decide to use keep with what's gonna happen is that we'll be able to see more on the vertical axis of our game but it's always going to try to keep the same width that we had when we begin the game. And if instead of using keep width, we decide to keep the height, what's going to happen is the opposite. So we are going to get more resolution on the horizontal pane here. We'll be able to see more of the game from the x-axis. And depending on the type of game that you have, this is going to give an advantage for some players doesn't matter which one you choose for instance here in this game here i can see where the enemy is being spawned and this gives me more time to respond to this when if i was not using a bigger resolution or a wider resolution i wouldn't be able to see the enemies coming from the right so easily so i would have less time to react to these events and to finish everything uh, the last option that you have is to use instead of keep height or keep width can choose expand and this is going to try to keep the same aspect radio that we had before but it's going to add more screen either vert vertically or horizontally as you can see right here so this can lead to some really unexpected behavior right now i can see more of the right of the game but if you had a monitor that was in widescreen and was actually taller you would be able to see more of the bottom of the game so you don't really know what's going to happen when you hand this to 
a different screen so a little, little tricky to use but again this all depends on the type of game that you have and if it's going to really give you a big impact on how it's going to be played so always keep this in mind sometimes you're giving the player to, the option to see more of some parts of the game and this can again give some advantages to some of them and some disadvantages for some of the players as well and the last thing that you should keep in mind when you're dealing with different screen sizes is how your ui elements are going to be set up the touch buttons right here are anchored to the bottom of our game that's why when we played it and we maximized the game window everything kind of took the same place that it was before but if i change this and i can select all of them here using this touch button the scene and click on the layout go to the anchors only and i decide to anchor them to the center top of our screen it's basically going to try to always keep the same position by using a calculation from the top here of the screen to the bottom and if i play you notice that now when i increase the size of the game they are going they are not going to go neither to the left or the right and if the game was uh, actually taller instead of wider they're gonna keep the same position that they were before so you can play around with this right here i'm not going to go through all of them but each one of them is going to give you a different configuration for the ui when you resize your game so that's also something to keep in mind when you are dealing with different screen resolutions and that was it for this video if you have any questions please feel free to ask me on the comment section and if you want to play around with this project right here and try things on your own you can go to the video description and you'll find a link for the github repository where you'll be able to download it and run it on your machine thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you guys again soon